Semi-automatic pistols have ruled the roost when it comes to self-defense guns in recent years, but concealed carry revolvers still hold their own when push comes to shove. The time-tested design is offered in some excellent self-defense calibers, is straightforward in operation, and is as dependable as the next day's dawn. And there are some top-notch and well-thought-out options in the revolver market tailor-made to hang ever-ready on your gun belt and deliver when called upon. To assist you in making an informed decision, we've compiled a list of the top seven concealed carry revolvers, highlighting their key features and important factors to consider when selecting the ideal one for your needs. For a more comprehensive analysis and a comparison tool, visit our website at gunsyoucantlivewithout.com. Number seven, Kimber K6S. For over a century, U.S. citizens have relied on revolvers for self-defense because of their compact size and shooting power. Kimber K6S presents an old-school, all-steel, six-shot pistol that stacks 357 mag ammo. Just by the looks, you can feel how massive the gun is. This pistol weighs 23 ounces and doesn't have an external hammer. The trigger guard is also nicely positioned to provide space to the trigger finger. Unlike other models, the K6S features large white dot sights that can be used easily, even in the dark. Furthermore, we take a close look at the trigger, which is crucial to determine whether a gun is good or not. When you pull the trigger, the pull weight is identical throughout the whole travel distance. For guns with double action trigger pull, the smoothness and consistency are of great importance. All in all, the firing mechanism of the gun is reliable and offers superb performance. We were surprised to learn that the gun is comfortable as well. When we tested the pistol, it fit firmly in our palms. The gun had rubber grips, which added for better control and comfort when firing. During the shooting test, the overall performance of the revolver proved to be a pleasant surprise. Number six, Colt King Cobra Carry. The King Cobra Carry is nearly identical to the Hammer model released in early 2019, except the spur has been shaved off and it's outfitted with a two inch barrel. These modifications give the revolver excellent carry characteristic. The terse barrel making it as simple to tote around as most snubby 38 specials. The bobbed hammer accentuates its already snag free frame. Yet there are a couple of things to keep in mind with the King Cobra. First and foremost, a two inch barrel isn't going to facilitate magnum performance. It won't be down to plus P38 standards, but it isn't going to punch up either. Further, all that burning powder has to go somewhere, and that's in a burst of flame from the muzzle to the hammer while the gun is a straight DAO, which if you're buying for carry might not cause concern. Number five, Smith & Wesson 642 Airweight. If you aren't familiar with the Smith & Wesson J-Frame revolvers, you haven't spent much time around the pistol world. The J-Frame has become the standard of excellence that many shooters use to judge other revolvers. The Smith & Wesson 642 builds on that reputation. The model 642 is a truly enclosed hammer revolver. The shooter cannot access the hammer, so only double action shooting is possible. This may be one feature that some shooters find unacceptable. But if you're going to consider a small frame concealed carry revolver, you must accept that your first shot is going to be made double action. J-frame revolvers are some of the easiest revolvers to grip and fire. I have found the Smith & Wesson 642 is no exception and has a great fit and feel in hand. The grips snuggle into the hand and even with moderately large hands, I had no problem maintaining a firm grip on the revolver as it was fired. There are no surprises with the Model 642. Everything is exactly where you would expect it to be. That is comforting, especially when you are moving back and forth between different firearms for concealed carry. My one complaint about the Smith & Wesson 642 is the integral front sight. It is true that integral sights on revolvers are standard and they will take a lot of abuse without losing their aim point, but the inability to change out for a front sight that is more easily acquired in low light conditions is a problem. Shooting the Model 642 was easy and comfortable. The 38 Special Loads didn't give me any problem with felt recoil or muzzle flip, and the grips made controlling the small frame revolver easy. None of these small and lightweight revolvers are guns I would want to take to the range and put hundreds of rounds through in a single session. From the standpoint of accuracy, I have no doubt that the Smith & Wesson 642 can shoot better than I am. 
I was able to consistently print three inch groups at seven yards and five inch groups at 25 yards, doing slow and carefully aimed fire. The groups widened quite a bit when I shot rapid five shot double action rounds. From a concealed carry revolver standpoint, the enclosed hammer and the sleek, no-nonsense design makes this an ideal pocket gun. It's easily concealable and quick to draw when needed. The panel style grips are easily replaceable if you find them hard to handle or need something a bit more substantial to get your hand around. Looking at the availability of the Smith & Wesson 642 Airweight, I found the average price to be less than $450. Not a bad deal for an iconic Smith & Wesson revolver. Number four, Ruger LCR 327 Federal. The Ruger LCR in 327 Federal Magnum is a compact revolver that addresses the capacity concerns of its 38 Special and 357 Magnum counterparts. With the ability to hold six rounds instead of five, it offers a 20% increase in defensive capacity. The LCR line is known for its double action only operation, good trigger, and decent fixed sights, and this model is no exception. One of the major advantages of the 327 Federal Magnum is its compatibility with various calibers, including 32 s and 32 s and Long, and 32 h and Magnum. Although 327 Federal Magnum can be unpleasant to shoot due to the pronounced muzzle flash and blast, the LCR shines when loaded with 32 Magnum. It offers easy control, accurate targeting, and a pleasant shooting experience often outperforming 38 special rounds in defensive situations. In practical testing, the Ruger LCR in 327 Federal Magnum proved to be accurate, reliable, and easy to carry. Its lightweight and unobtrusive design allows for a seamless transition into daily life without requiring major adjustments to clothing or routine. This makes it an ideal choice for those seeking a compact carry revolver that's always there when needed with minimal fuss. By now, everyone knows what the LCR is about, and this one is the same. The trigger is good, the sights are usable, and the hog grip is comfortable for most shooters. I have done exactly zero modifications to my 327 Federal Magnum Ruger LCR, and for good reason. It's accurate, reliable, easy to shoot, and most importantly, it's a 32. One more round. Number three, Smith & Wesson Performance Center Model 327. The pistol is an eight-shot 357 Magnum that can be loaded with full moon clips or with individual rounds. Right from the get-go, this pistol is crammed with unique features. The business end of the pistol features a two-inch stainless steel barrel shrouded in titanium. The barrel is of match quality and delivered spectacular accuracy at 25 yards from the bench. Moving on to the 327's frame, one will notice the even black finish of the ultralight scandium. The black contrasts well with the dull gray of the titanium cylinder and barrel shroud. When I say ultralight, I mean ultra light. This pistol barely tips the scales at a feathery 23 ounces. The gun isn't exactly small with its large end frame, but it is light. It is match accurate, but the sights aren't adjustable. The trigger and action are as light and crisp as those on a competition revolver, and it has the same quick loading moon clips to boot. The features that seem unnecessary are the saving grace of this gun. The ability to load quickly with full moon clips gives this pistol the same reloading speed as an automatic and all the power of eight rounds of 357 Magnum in one serving. Reloading this gun with gloves is substantially easier with moon clips and shooting it accurately in a hunting situation is fully possible thanks to the full size grip and fine single action pull. Recoil is a bit much. I fired two Hornady 357 Magnum loads and one Hornady 38 Special variety out of this gun and found them to be, shall we say, interesting. The Hornady Custom 158 grain XTP 357 load generated an average of 1,098 FPS from the muzzle and generated what I would describe as alarming recoil. The size of the grips themselves is great for a hiking gun. However, the grip material is far too smooth for the power this gun can generate. I believe it would be far better off with either a set of soft rubber grips or something with a more aggressive texture to prevent slippage in the hand under recoil. Number two, Taurus 856. The Taurus 856 is a small revolver produced by Taurus International, a well-known firearms manufacturer based in Brazil. It is a popular choice for concealed carry and personal protection due to its compact size and lightweight design. 
The Taurus 856 is chambered in 38 Special and has a six round capacity. It features a double action trigger, which means that the hammer can be cocked and the revolver can be fired by pulling the trigger, or the hammer can be manually cocked. Then the revolver can be fired by pulling the trigger. This gives the user the option of a lighter trigger pull for more accurate shots or a heavier trigger pull for added security. Overall, the Taurus 856 is a popular and reliable revolver, suitable for various purposes, including concealed carry and personal protection. It is known for its compact size, lightweight design, and versatility. Number 1. Ruger SP-101 Ruger presents their SP-101 revolver which offers larger caliber protection in an acceptably small frame. Created specifically for personal protection, this double action revolver comes with a solid steel frame. The result is a rugged and dependable gun for those looking at ease of concealed carry. Whatever weapon you tote, regular cleaning and maintenance are essential. Ruger has taken this into account and the S&P 101 offers tool-free disassembly and reassembly for easy, regular maintenance. The design includes a peg-style grip frame that comes with cushioned rubber. This ensures no metal is exposed in the back strap. There's also a triple locking cylinder that aids positive alignment to give lasting and dependable operation. This single action, double action revolver holds five rounds of 357 Magnum or 38 Special if you prefer. It is 7.2 inches in overall length, which includes the 2.25 inch barrel. At 25.6 ounces, it should cause no concerns for the majority of concealed carriers. The weight of this revolver gives users two benefits. First, it helps to tame the snappy Magnum recoil when fired. Second, gun control is further enhanced thanks to the firm rubberized grips. Weapon draw is also made easy because Ruger has rounded off every concealable snag point, including the front sight. As with all barrel lengths in this size in revolvers, chambered in 357 Magnum, one thing should be noted. This configuration does not allow the 357 Magnum round to come close to its full ballistic potential. However, it still packs enough of a punch for effective self-protection purposes. In conclusion, we hope you found our list of top concealed carry revolvers insightful. If this video was helpful, kindly give it a thumbs up as your support is always appreciated. Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments section below about which concealed carry revolver you plan to choose. Thank you for watching. And if this video has been useful to you in any way, please don't hesitate to like it. To stay updated with future content, make sure to subscribe to our channel.